Henry Burris and the Stamps have a first down at their own 41-yard line. Just under eight and a half minutes remaining. And now with a four-point lead. Joffrey Reynolds over the middle, and that pass incomplete. Intended for Jermaine Copeland and Corey Banks there defensively. Well, let's see. The All-Stars, as the Calgary Stampeders were calling them. In fact, Rob Lazio, the center for the Calgary Stampeders yesterday in the walkthrough, said it's, I guess, a little bit like the pros against the Joes <laughs> with all the All-Stars over there on defense for the BC Lions against just us guys. And we'll see who will prevail because this is a key series in the game. Veteran guy, just the last two years at center, and turned out to be in a great position for Rob Lazio. Second and ten, pressure, and the pass complete. Ryan Thelma, the former Lion, with a huge first down catch, dragged down by Jerome Dennis. Well, we wanted to know what the BC Lions would do. Would they go zone defense or would they send man to man? Well, let's see. One, two, three, four up front. Watch. Two more linebackers are going to come to make it five and six. Here they come. It'll be Jamal Johnson on the blitz as well as Otis Floyd. You know what that means? It means man to man behind them. You can't blitz that many and then play zone behind it. So they do go with man to man. They go back. Dante Marsh misses the tackle. Misses Stellwell on the sideline. And where Calgary goes. First catch of the game for the former Lion, Thelwell. The first down and lots of steamboats to go back to Thelwell, but the pass skipped short. Ryan Thelwell didn't had his career low this year, but 78% of his catches were for first downs or touchdowns, and his first catch of the day, a big one for 22 yards and a first down here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, that was a tremendous stat when you looked at it, that how the Calgary Stampeders you know, the guys that even played in a backup role in Thelwell was that guy for a while, still contributed 18 of his 23 catches, you mentioned, for first downs or touchdowns. That's contributing even though you have limited touches. Well, the ball in and around DeAngelo's range at the 47, but it's a big second down play. And the oh. Dante Marsh, corner blitz, gets to Henry Burris. Well, not just corner, Chris, because they bring up Corey Banks as well. So Mike Benavidi setting the house at the Calgary offense. And George Cortez, I'm sure, didn't see this one coming. This is a big gamble because you're going to see a couple. Up here is Corey Banks. And over here, just out of your picture, is Dante Marsh. So Corey Banks is up there. Usually you just send one. There's Banks, the high guy. And underneath him is 31. And watch this. There he is right there at the top of your screen. Hiding up there at the short side corner. He comes off the blitz. Unbelievable. That's a huge gamble by the BC defense that pays off. Forces Burke Dales to punt. limit the return. The 2008 Great Cup is on TSN and we have it covered like never before. Live pregame coverage begins at 3 Eastern, noon Pacific, kickoff at 6 p.m. Eastern. The Great Cup on TSN presented by Wendy's Sunday, November 23rd on TSN and we can only hope it provides as much drama oh, oh, oh. as this baby. Well, whoever prevails here will be two talented teams in the Great Cup. The Montreal Alouettes, the top team in the East all season long, had first place wrapped up about a month and a half ago. They advance out of the East, and BC or Calgary would be tremendous representatives out of the West. we got to finish here, folks. Better against the Lions on the return, so they're backed up at the five. Logan, and Logan upended by Shannon James just beyond the line of scrimmage. Number 42 has had himself an afternoon. Boy, is he ever. The BC Lions had chances to put this game away early. Many opportunities, including right down on the goal line where Mike Labinjo shut the door. been the defensive star of the game and we have Jason Jimenez 
the Lions all Canadian right tackle down and Bill Rochelle out to attend to him let's find out what happened to him in as there was some uh, discussion after the injury on either side Looked like he was engaged there with Dwayne Carpenter. Looked like he went over his own man, Haji Rizzuli. Got side of his knee there. He'll have to go out for three plays. And if the Lions can't get out of the shadow of their goalposts, Wally Guano will have to give up two to get field position back. That would make it a six-point game. Still keep them within a converted touchdown to the lead. Jimenez looks like he'll be able to continue. Which is why I wouldn't be surprised that the BC Lions don't try and force the issue here. Dean Valley comes in to play right guard and Haji Rizzoli moves out to tackle on second and eight. And Pierce from his end zone. Dangerous pass. Odeo Wilson breaks the tackle and has the first down and that's enormous for the Lions on a play that might have gone the other way into the end zone. Boy, and it's Buck Pierce growing up in a hurry as a playoff performer or what? Because, boy, you got to reach down and you this is as gutsy as you can be at the quarterback spot. He has a nice pocket to throw from. He just lost his right tackle, and he throws with pretty tight coverage by Dwight Anderson outside on Wilson. Yeah, a little Dunnigan moxie from number 16. Odell Wilson's first grab of the day. And Pierce looking for more. And G. Roy Simon oh, with this spectacular catch. All the all-star credentials are... You know, it's about composure at this point in a football game. Winner goes on, loser goes home. And you can see the composure in G-Roy Simon. How about the composure in the young Buck Pierce? And they go to that matchup on J.R. Ruffin. Well, he readjusted to the football, working against J.R. Ruffin. Comes up with 21. And now they've got some room to work at the 41-yard line. Well, I guess they're cheering for you, Mike. What a show Rabinjo's putting on. Stand up position for Mike Rabinjo. And just enjoy it, Calgary fans. Little inside move on Rob Murphy who's hanging on. They wanted a double move on the outside. But didn't get it, didn't have an open receiver, and didn't throw it away. Rob Murphy gave up five sacks this year, two to Labinjo in the regular season. And Labinjo's adding to his totals here. So it's second and 22. Here stands in and throws. Brian Gleisbone with the catch, but Brandon Smith makes sure it's not going to be anywhere near a first down. But the BC Lions did get out of the shadow of their goalpost. They did get out till they get a chance to kick the football away, put their defense on the field. There is lots of time remaining in this game. In a lot of ways, that was a successful drive for Buck Pierce. They want to keep it a one-score game where a major is the difference. There is a breeze at the back of McCallum. It has not been a huge factor today. The return game's been beat for Calgary, though. Bounced at the 35, forward progress, 38-yard line. Let's head back down to Jock Climby. Okay, we'll get to Jock momentarily as Mike Lipinjo gets a breather. A little low two on the sideline, why not? They're going to need him again. Did play in the Super Bowl back in 2004 and said he was hyperventilating after the first play. What a game. He's leaving people breathless today. Godfrey Reynolds 
nothing doing up the middle. Javi Glatt was there, and so was Tyrone Williams. As we tick down to three minutes, and they are going to give the three-minute warning here in an exciting Western final from McMahon. Our game story brought to you by Molson Canadian. This is our beer. Well, the first one, good news for BC. McCallum went six for six. We could have put both bogos on that, though, because it was good news for the Calgary Stampeders that the Lions didn't get majors there. Stefan Logan did his job. Burris has the game in his hands right now. And what a performance by Mike Lubinger. And now big play, second and nine. for Nick Lewis. I want to show you why Henry Burris knows he can go to Nick Lewis here. Watch the running back drop from Reynolds here. He's going to move and he's going to declare what the defense is. As soon as he moves, running guys. See, now he goes back and lines up again. When you see Jamal Johnson move, Henry Burris knows now that it's man-to-man -man defense because everyone's covering man, so he goes to Nick Lewis on the crosser. He's open for the first down. set of downs there are the numbers for Lewis on the day and now the end oh. round is dropped by Brent Ralph he's back at the 50 now hits the right way but is dropped at the 43 yard line so it'll be a loss on a gadget play that nearly blew up in the Calgary Stampeders